So today, I'm gonna to share with you five things. Actually, they are five questions you need to ask yourself and answer to set yourself up for the possibility of a fantastic semester of study. Hi, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm David McMeekin and I'm an academic currently living in Perth. Research shows that one of the biggest challenges that students face when it comes to succeeding at university is being organized. It's not just learning content and understanding all the things that are being taught, it is being organized. If you work out your answers to the five questions I'm going to pose, you set yourself up with a great opportunity to be successful this semester at university. Let's get into it now. Question one, when and where are your classes? Some of you are gonna say, what a dumb thing to ask, but it's true. As an academic, I watch people not know where their classes are. I even had one person in the third week of classes stand up in the middle of the class and say, I'm actually not in this class, and they left. Hence, the first thing you need is your timetable. You need to know when and where your classes are. David, that's irrelevant for me because I'm an online student. No worries, I'm going to talk about online, face-to-face -face, and the hybrid of the combination of both of those types of study. Along with the timetable, you also need to know when is the unit outline or the course outline, that description of what you're going to be learning. This document is really important because you can read it and get an understanding of what's expected of you, what things are you going to need to look at, what are you going to be reading, and how is that all going to look throughout the semester. Read it and get an understanding of what you need to know and what you're going to need to deliver. Okay, face-to-face -face students, where are your classes and at what time do they start? Know that. Are some of the classes face-to-face? -face? Are some of the classes, like I said, Zoom? Or are some of the classes even pre-recorded? For online students, are your classes pre-recorded or online but live? If they are pre-recorded, when do they drop? Does the entire semester drop at once? Or does it drop week by week or two weeks by two weeks? This becomes really important because it allows you to plan when are you going to attend those pre-recorded online classes. For face-to-face -face and online and that combination, these are important things to know so that you can start planning your time. Question two, how am I going to spend my time this semester? A disclaimer right up front in the five questions. This is usually where most people abandon the questions because it's too difficult. Or it's not so much that it's too difficult, it's too confronting to understand our time, lack there of it, or our time and the commitments we already have embedded in them. When the semester doesn't work out as students thought it would, in their reflection, if they reflect on the semester, very few students actually reflect on how they spent their time. They reflect on, oh, it wasn't well delivered, it wasn't this, it wasn't that, and all of those things can be valid and true. The other thing that we need to be aware of is how did I spend my time? You have classes to attend, you have readings to do, you have workshops to go to, Many of you have a job that you work, you have sports that you play, you have hobbies that you do, and you have a social life. And all of those things make for you being a better student. Research clearly shows that being a well-rounded student, meaning being a well-rounded human being, leads to better outcomes in your education. Now, the third question, are you digital or are you analog? What do I mean by that? Are you going to be taking your notes and reading things from paper on paper? Or are you going to have everything in a digital format and take all your notes in a digital manner? You might even be doing it in a hybrid manner, some digitally and some in an analog format. This is a really important question to answer before the semester starts. That's right, before the semester starts, so that when semester starts, you already know what you're going to do, and then you simply do it. 
What you don't want to be doing is once semester starts, you're going, oh, am I going to take notes on my iPad? Am I going to take them on my computer? Am I going to write them on paper? I'm just not sure. No, once semester starts, you want to be into it. So have a decision made beforehand. Question four. Now, if you're analog, this question's for you. If you're digital, you can skip to the next question. What do I need to be analog ready? This, friends, isn't rocket science. You're gonna need pens, you're gonna need paper, you're gonna need highlighters, you're gonna need white out or liquid paper. You're also probably gonna need files to be putting your notes into. Get them. If you're full analog, get the notes, get the lecture notes and print them out. Get the readings, print them out. Get the worksheets or the practicals or the tutorial sheets, print them out. Put them in your file in order so you can systematically work through them. If you're hybrid analog digital and you're going to be working with, for instance, digital lecture notes, but writing notes on paper, get those lecture notes in the format that you need them in and ready to write. Once semester starts, you don't want to be thinking about the practical things. Once semester starts, you want to have thought about everything you needed to think about before the semester started. So now that the semester started, you don't need to think about it. You just need to get into it and think through all of the material that you're learning. Be generous with yourself, okay? Don't sting on paper. Don't sting on the pens. Print more than less and have more paper rather than less. File everything on the same day. So if you took notes this morning or this afternoon or this evening, file them into their right appropriate place still today. Otherwise, if you leave it, this is where notes go missing, notes get misplaced, and it makes it difficult to succeed. Now, question five for those who are going digital. What do I need to be digital ready? This question, actually opens a Pandora's box of two other questions. Am I a laptop user or am I an iPad tablet user? This is a question students often ask. Should I get a laptop or should I get an iPad device? That's a tough question and really difficult to answer because there are so many factors to think through. I'm actually not going to answer that specific question here. That's for a whole nother video. But make your decision. Are you laptop or are you iPad tablet? You wanna decide this before the semester starts because what you don't wanna be doing is in week three, four, five of the semester go, oh, this isn't working using the laptop, I'm gonna go and get an iPad. Or week three, four, five of semester, this isn't working with an iPad, I'm gonna go and get a laptop. Again, you don't wanna be doing that. Think through these things before semester starts, make your decisions and stick with them for the semester. In getting ready, once you've decided you're an iPad or a laptop user, get all your notes, get them in the folders, get them in the directories that you need them in so that you can just dive straight in to reading, studying, and doing what you need to do. David, the apps, oh no. What apps should I be using? That is a question for another day, actually for another video. But what I wanna say about the apps, and I'll put a list of apps together. You wanna to select your apps and then stick with them through the semester. You'll notice I've said for the semester. You may find that it wasn't the best choice, but sometimes it's better to stick with the not so good choice so that everything is housed in the one place, the one location. At the end of the semester, you can make the changes that you need to better do next semester. What you don't wanna be doing is changing apps in the middle of the semester. That's the perfect way, like with an analog system, of losing notes. You lost that piece of paper. Where did I write that note? Did I write it in Obsidian? Did I write it in Rome Research? Did I write it in Notion? Did I write it in Bear? Notes, the list goes on. Notability, um, good notes, where is it? And you spend all your time looking for the notes you took through multiple apps. Doesn't work. Take an app and stick with it. You can change at the end of the semester. The important thing is the app isn't the thing that's gonna make you succeed. It's what you do with the app that makes you succeed. I often think of that great cyclist. It's not about the bike, and as we learned, it wasn't about the bike. And it's the same, uh, long stretch, but it's a similar thing with the apps. It's not necessarily about the apps, it's how we use the apps that will determine how successful we may be. You may go, David, that wasn't rocket science. That wasn't anything revelatory that you just put together. Those five simple questions. I know, 
But asking those five simple questions and answering them will set yourself up for the possibility of a successful semester. These questions are ones students generally don't ask until too late. Ask them before semester starts, answer them before semester starts, and then stick with what you chose. David, are these things gonna guarantee my success? No, you're the only one who can guarantee or not guarantee your success. These questions are designed to help you get ready for the semester. All the best, I'm David McMeekin, Kendany eBuck.